Okay, so yesterday you should have got a email from me uh, inviting you to the Google Classroom, okay, on your school email account. Um, so you need to make sure that you check your email for that, okay, and uh, get joined to the uh, Google Classroom. Otherwise, you can do it right now. Um, so the most important thing if you want to be successful in this class is that you have to be here. Okay? If you have repeated absences, extended absences, you're not going to do well. Okay? We've, done the, we've done the math on it, the studies on it. Um, people who have 10 or more absences typically do 12% worse than their classmates. Okay? You need to be here. All right? You can't, oh, well, I just don't feel like being there today and not show up. That's not an option. Okay, if you've got a two week holiday plan, I got to tell you, that is a terrible idea. Okay, it is a terrible idea. You cannot afford to miss two weeks of Science 10. You will find yourself so far behind, you'll think you're in front. Okay, this course moves very, very quickly. Okay, now on that note, I do post absolutely everything that we do on Google Classroom. Okay, including what I'm doing right now, which is that I will record this class each and every day, okay? And I will post that to Google Classroom as well. So if you are away, the expectation is that you go to Google Classroom and you find what you've missed, okay? Even if that's a lab, okay? I have videoed all of the labs because, well, that whole COVID thing that went on, okay? The only way we could do labs was if we videoed them and sent everyone the videos at home to do them, okay? So it is possible for you, even if you have missed a lab, to get the lab done, to get the report done, okay? There is absolutely no reason to get behind in this class other than you're in a coma, okay? That would be about the only reason, okay? So you need to stay up to date, okay? And that is your responsibility, okay? So that's 1.1. In order to be successful, you need to be here. Be aware that if you are absent, you are responsible for any material you miss, including labs, assignments, and projects, okay? But this is also not a virtual or hybrid class, okay? Don't think, well, Mr. Goodhart posts everything. I can just stay home and watch it. They're not a substitute for being here. You can't ask the recording questions. Well, you can, but it won't answer and you'll look crazy, okay? So don't do that, okay? Be here, it's way better to be here, okay? Um, second thing, punctuality, okay? Class begins when the bell goes, and unfortunately now that's 8.30. Okay, I really noticed that five minutes this morning myself. You guys probably did too, okay? Um, so the new bell schedule, okay, is posted on the school website. I also have it here. If you want to later, you can come up and snap a picture of it with your phone, okay? Uh, but we do start at 8.30. If you are late, you will find the door in the closed position. Stay on the other side of it. Don't knock. Don't make faces at me through the window, okay? Just stand where I can see you. I'll come get you when it's not an interruption to everybody else. If you've been out there for more than 10 minutes, there's one of two reasons for that. The most likely reason is, I didn't see you, okay? And at that point, you can probably knock. The other reason is, you're late all the time and I'm just done with it. That's happened, okay? You don't wanna be that person, okay? If you're late all the time, I'm just gonna stop coming to the door for you, okay? Be on time, please. All right, section two, okay? Um, the resources that are available to you, okay? The biggest one, obviously, is Google Classroom, okay? I have a YouTube channel, but you won't need to go to it. It's just where I post the videos to, and then I link them back to Google Classroom. So you don't have to go to my channel and subscribe and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I don't make a cent off of that channel because it's not monetized, because it's not ethical for me to monetize it. Um, plus, I probably only make 13 cents in Okay, so um, just know that there will be videos linked in Google Classroom and that is where you need to go, okay? So as we said already, each day class is recorded, okay? And you'll need to watch that. Each day I'll also post the day's activities, a link to the day's recording, developments and notes on Google Classroom, okay? In the post, I may also include links to lab data in case you're absent or lose yours, okay? Use that resource to its fullest potential, okay? There's also the board here, okay? You don't have the join codes on there because I emailed everybody instead, okay? Um, but I'll put it up there. Um, and also watch for quizzes because the way quizzes work is I post them on Google Classroom ahead of time, okay? So that you can prepare for them. Okay, so by using the above resources, you should always return to class caught up with your classmates. 
okay, because I'm doing all that extra stuff to make sure that you can be caught up, okay, the worst thing you can do is come back after being gone for 10 days and say, hey, Mr. Quitter, what did I miss? I'll do this a lot. And I will turn my back to you because you have not done your job as a student if you come back to me after missing 10 days and you have no idea what we've done. Okay? I will give you the most truthful answer possible. You have missed a lot. Okay? And if you don't know what it is, you're in real trouble. Okay? So make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, uh, classroom behavioral norms. Okay? Biggest thing is respect. Okay? The classroom is an environment where everyone should feel safe, included, and welcome. Okay? Respect is the key. I will respect you, and I expect the same in return. Okay? And the same should go for your classmates. Okay? I never want to see somebody singled out for any reason. Okay? And I'm not going to single you out for any reason in front of the rest of the class, as that it would be disrespectful to you. Okay? So please treat everyone with respect. Everyone deserves it. If you hear the words, listen up, that means I need earbuds out, okay, which I see are still in some people's ears right now, okay, and I need all eyes forward, okay. It could be, listen up, this is what we're going over today, listen up, there's a mistake on the key, listen up, we need to go over to the lab, listen up, the room is on fire, we need to get out of here right now, okay. Either way, when I say listen up, that means I need your full and undivided attention. Okay, work in class, two kinds of work, okay. The first kind of work is not going to get taken in for marks, okay? I don't do homework checks, okay? But there's going to be times where we're working on something in class and we don't finish it in class, but I'm not going to give you more class time to work on it, okay? In that case, you should probably go home and do a little bit more of it and make sure that you're well prepared for the next day, okay? Um, posting quizzes ahead of time, having you do that stuff, that's the kind of work that doesn't get checked, okay? Now, the other kind of work is the kind that does contribute to your marks. All of that's going to be submitted through Google Classroom. Lab reports, research projects, etc. Okay? Um, those have to be done. Okay? They're not optional. Okay? They are meant to help you learn the material and allow you to demonstrate to me how well you have learned said material. All right? So those ones do have to get turned in and they have to get turned in on time. Okay? All right. Um, now, in the same vein of that, okay, it is rare for someone to not do well in this class, okay, uh, and I'm saying exceptionally rare, okay. Should you, on an exam for some reason, not pass, okay, then the expectation is that you come in and see me, okay. I will have something else for you to do. You and I will go over it when you have it done to ensure that you understand the material that you didn't get on the exam. Okay, and at that point, I can manipulate your mark a little bit. Okay? And so it's not sitting at wherever it was sitting before. All right? That doesn't, I'm not often required to do that. Okay? If you're doing your job as a student, staying up to date, using all the resources, there really shouldn't be a problem passing this class. All right, uh, 3.4, okay, fairness versus equality, okay, I always try to be fair to everyone, but know that fairness and equality are different, okay, lots of people think they're the same thing, but if I treat everybody exactly the same, that isn't fair, everybody comes from a different place, everybody brings different things with them, okay, uh, from home or from work or from wherever, okay, everybody's got a different situation, so I treat everybody on a case-to-case -case basis, okay, don't like to have a blanket way of dealing with one thing, okay? Um, so know that I will do my very best to treat everyone fairly. If you ever think I have not been fair to you, okay, then you can come and see me and talk to me about it, okay? And if I, after you talk to me about it, if I think I have not been fair to you, I will own it, okay? I will apologize and I'll make it right, okay? I'm not, I'm not uh, I don't have too much of an ego to not, to not admit when I've been wrong, okay? And I've been wrong. Lots of times, okay? Um, and that's okay, that's how we grow, all right? Okay, um, so one example I'll give you here, guys, of fairness versus equality happened about hmm, probably 12, 13 years ago now, um, back when we handed things in on paper. And I had uh, this, my class coming up, bringing their lab reports up and putting them on my desk, and uh, got to the end of the line and the last two people didn't have theirs done. And first guy, Oh, and he never got anything done. 
<laughs> Man, this guy would be late for his own funeral. Hey, um, he's like, yeah, I could air it. I didn't get it done. I'm like, again? For the love of Pete. Like, can't, why can't you get stuff done on time? He's like, well, I, I was working on it, and then the season finale and my favorite show was on, and I watched it, and it wasn't very good, and I fell asleep. And I woke up this morning, and my lab's not done. I'm like, to, to his credit, he was always brutally honest with me. He never tried to snow me on anything. Okay? It was always, yeah, well, I just don't have it done, and it's totally my fault, but here. I'm like, oh, and all right, fine. You're going to take the late penalty, but I need it okay? as soon as you can get it to me. The girl behind him always had her stuff in on time, like every single time, most of the time early. Um, and she was standing behind him, and she looked like she was going to fall over and die. She was green, like literally green. And I'm like, what's going on? Not like you do not have your work done, and you look like you're going to like throw up on me at this point. And she's like, well, that's what I've been doing all night, Coder. Uh, my parents had this huge fight, and they both stormed out of the house, and I had to make dinner for myself and my two sisters, and I didn't cook the chicken enough, and we all got really sick, and we spent the whole night throwing up, and I don't have my lab report done. I know I shouldn't have left it till the last minute, but that's what happened. I'm like... All right, you're right. You shouldn't have left it till the last minute because that's when disaster strikes. Um, but uh, why don't you go home and get better? And when you come back, you can bring your lab report to me and I won't dock it. Okay? I mean, one guy, every time he was late, okay? he didn't deserve a second. Well, he'd already had like three, four chances. Okay? She never asked for a chance. Okay? I felt like I dealt with that situation fairly. Okay? But certainly not equally. Okay? Equal doesn't always mean fair. All right, and then accountability, okay? High school is the start of real life. Thus, due dates and timelines are part of your reality. This means you are expected and required to hand in material on time and be responsible for your actions. I give plenty of time for assignments to be completed. Thus, there are very few excuses I will accept for not handing in material on time. In real life, you have to be on time and get your work done, and the same goes for you here. So, in this class, the absolute shortest turnaround you would have for anything would be two school days. Okay? So if we were to do um, like a lab on Monday, the earliest it would be due would be Thursday. Because you have Tuesday and Wednesday, the two school days. Okay? I can't remember the last time I had a turnaround that short, but that's the shortest I would ever give you. Okay? Most of the time, it's like three school days. And if it's three school days, there's probably a weekend in there somewhere. Okay? So you're going to have lots of time to get things done. Just don't leave it till the last minute. Okay? Now, in that time period, you can come in and see me if you have it done early, and I will look it over. Okay? So you can come in at lunch or before school or after school during my help times, and you can say, Mr. Kudera, will you please look over my lab? I'll sit down and I'll take a quick look over it and I'll say you need to um, reword your hypothesis, it needs to include a little more about this. Uh, I think you missed what question number two in the analysis was asking. It was really asking more about this. Can you put something about that in there? I'm not going to give you the answers, I'm just going to give you feedback. Okay? I send you home, you do some more edits, you get three to five more marks because you did some edits that took you five or ten minutes. Okay, so that opportunity is available to you. Pop in and see me, and I'm happy to look over your stuff. Okay? All right. Your marks. Assessment and evaluation. Okay? Uh, <coughs> first thing is, I will not discuss your mark with you in class. Okay? I can't do that. I can't have a situation where other people okay, would overhear what your mark was and why you got it. That's not their business, and I can't tell them that in front of them. Okay? So uh, if you want to talk to me about a mark, Come and see me after class, at lunch, before school, after school, okay? Uh, and I'm happy to go over that with you, okay? Um, your marks will be distributed according to the syllabus, so we'll go over that in a minute, okay? Assignments and labs are to be handed in on time. Late assignments can be handed in, but they will be penalized 30%, okay? Because I give you plenty of time to get them done, and I give you the opportunity to come in and have them looked over. They should be done on time, okay? Uh, if you'll know you'll be absent on the due date, you can hand in the assignment early, but really, since everything's coming in on Google Classroom, even if you're not here, you can still submit it. Okay? So there's not really a reason to not have it in. Here's the reason for that late penalty, and that late penalty, I will tell you, is immediate. Okay? I just set it up in Google Classroom. Everything's due at 8.30 a.m. on the due date. 
Okay, you hand it in at 8.31, Google will automatically mark it late. Okay, now, in terms of that late penalty, here's why it's so steep. You will always get your stuff back from me the next day, sometimes faster than that. Okay, but we will be going over whatever you hand in the next day in class. Okay. I think that if you're going to spend time working on something that is a learning activity, there should be some learning derived from it by handing it back to you and going over it in class. Okay? Now, if you pay attention and you're going over it, you'll know where you went wrong and where you went right, okay? and you'll get a lot out of it. If you haven't handed it in yet, you don't get much out of it because you have nothing to look at. Okay? So it's important that you hand it in on time. Plus, if I've already gone over it and you hand it in after that, I don't really know how much of it's really your work anymore. Okay, so it's hardly fair for you to hand something in after I've given out all the answers and get 100%. Okay, that's not really cool either. Okay, everybody with me on that? Okay, so and you can ask anybody who's taken my course before. Okay, I always hand stuff back the next day. I have been teaching 25 years. I have failed to do that once. Okay, it was the day my second son was born. Okay. I stand by my decision to hold my wife's hand okay, while she gave birth to our son, as opposed to sitting there with my laptop marking laps while she did that. Okay. It was the right decision. It's still the right decision. I stand by it, and I had the lab done the day after. Okay. That's the only time. All right. And you can see I'm old. Don't have the kids. So you're not going to have to worry about that one now. Okay. All right. Um, so, assignments in labs, as we said here, are due at 8.30 a.m. on the due date. That's when they are accepted for full marks. Being absent does not exempt you from the work, okay? Uh, you're expected to submit the material like everyone else. Okay, for quizzes, every Tuesday and every Thursday there will be a short quiz, okay? Um, and it'll be on reviewing the last the material from the last two to four classes. And I post practice quizzes with solutions videos when appropriate, so it's for most of them. Okay, on Mondays and Wednesdays at 3.30. Okay, so on Monday, I will post a quiz through, between 3.20 and 3.30, and it'll just be a PDF document with questions on it, and there'll be a, a solutions video, if appropriate. Okay, it's just a YouTube clip. So you do the quiz, you watch the video, and check if you did it right. Next day, I give you a quiz that's very much like that quiz. If you've done the practice quiz, you have no problem doing very well on quizzes. If you don't do the practice quizzes, it'll seem like you have a pop quiz twice a week. That doesn't sound like fun to me, so do the practice quiz, okay? And basically, it's like a freebie, all right? Okay, um, use of AI. This is kind of becoming a thing. I finally got my first lab report that I suspect was done by AI, okay? Because it made zero sense for what I had asked, okay? The person had obviously not told the AI what it needed it to do. That's the key with AI. Okay, you want AI to do your job for you, you do have to lay out the parameters of the job. Okay, so use of AI. The point of this course is to have you add to and develop your own intelligence. Okay, while AI can be useful, it should not be used to do your learning for you. That makes it smarter, not you. You don't want to make our future machine overlords smarter than we are this quickly. Okay, all right. Uh, using AI on assignments and or labs is considered a form of plagiarism or cheating. In addition, you will not have access to electronics on your exams. And if artificial intelligence has done all your work for you up to that point, you will not know the material and will thus do very poorly okay, on the exams. Okay, so, um, Are there places where the use of AI is appropriate? Sure. Okay, had this discussion with my AP class last semester. And they came up with some good ideas. I think the best one was when you're studying for a test, okay, have AI generate some practice questions for you. Okay? That's a perfectly legitimate and really intelligent way to use artificial intelligence. Okay? Tell it, I want you to make some questions up on uh, balancing chemical reactions or predicting the products of a chemical reaction or make up a mole equation calculation question for me and it'll probably do it. Okay? And then you can check your work. Okay? Probably a good way to use it. Okay. To have it write your entire report on the saguaro cactus? Probably not. Okay. Everybody with me there? All right. Okay, so the course syllabus, guys, goes like this. There are four units in Science 10. Okay, the first unit is uh, matter and energy in chemical change or chemistry. 
Okay, so the first little bit probably seem fairly familiar, naming ionic compounds, naming molecular compounds, stuff we would have done in Science 9, the okay, structure and history of the atom. Okay. Um, then we'll move into properties of compounds, uh, we'll move into solubility, uh, and then into reactions. Okay? Uh, identifying reactions, writing reactions, balancing reactions, predicting reactions. That is probably one third of the unit. Okay? And then uh, we do mole equation calculations as the last thing. Uh, chemistry is a fairly long unit. We probably won't finish it until halfway through March. Okay? Especially since we have that week off. Okay? They're near the end of February. Um, so, yeah, easily be second week of March, probably before we're done, uh, the chemistry unit. Okay? Uh, chemistry does involve a little bit of math, okay? when balancing um, equations, when doing mole equation calculations, and even when you're writing the formulas for ionic compounds. Okay? Um, so there's a little bit of math involved with that. Um, so just kind of be prepared for that. It does tend to be one of the tougher units. All right, the second unit is cycling of matter in living systems, biology. Okay. So we'll be going over cells, parts of the cell and what they do. Okay. Uh, cell transport is a really, really big one. Okay. We talk a lot about transport methods within the cell, within a multicellular organism. Okay. Um, we talk about uh, specialization, and then we look at the plant as an example of a multicellular organism, how it transports material. Okay. Um, things like that. So um, that's a much shorter unit. It takes about three, three and a half weeks. And okay? so probably looking at right around Easter, we would finish that one. Okay. Um, and then we would have um, energy flow and technological systems. That's physics. Okay? Physics is the most math intensive of the four units. Okay? And probably the longest of the four units. Right. If we start that one shortly after Easter, we will finish it end of May. Okay, um, and maybe even the beginning of June. Uh, and then the last unit, or sorry, in, in that unit we talk about uh, forms of energy, transfers of energy, work energy theorem, graphing. Okay, how many people have taken math 10 already? Okay, so the stuff you did with y equals mx plus b and graphing, that's all going to seem familiar to you. We do it again here. Okay. Um, we also go over acceleration, velocity, okay, uh, things like that, um, conservation of energy. I think I said work energy theorem already. Okay, we go over that. Um, like I say, fairly long unit and fairly math intensive okay, in there. The last unit, energy flow and global systems, okay, is um, short, like super short. Okay? Um, I have taught it in as little as four days. It wasn't great, but we did it. Okay. Uh, typically, like to have about two weeks for that one. So it's usually start of June, we finish it up right before exams. We have a couple of days to review okay, for our final exam. All right. Okay, so your assessment goes as follows Unit exams are 40% of your final mark. Do the math, that means each one is worth 10%. You got four units okay, for a total of 40%. So each unit exam is 10% of your final mark. Okay, your labs, projects, and assignments, the work you do in class, is 30% of your final mark. Okay, your quizzes, which are basically gimme marks, are worth 10%. Okay, now, we said you're going to have two of those a week for the entire semester. And they only add up to 10%. How much is each one worth? Practically nothing. Okay, so if you do bad on one quiz, should you panic? No, definitely not. Okay, it's probably going to happen at some point. Okay, but you're going to have two a week for the entire semester. By the end of the semester, each one is worth less than one quarter of one percent of your final grade. Okay, they're a useful review tool. They're the kinds of questions you're going to see on your unit exam. Okay, that's what they're for. They're not really meant to assess how good you are at anything. They're more designed to say, hey, this is how well you know this, maybe you need to work on it a little more. And they tell me, if everybody gets 100% on that quiz, it's time for us to move on. Okay, that's basically what they're used for. All right, and then your final exam, which will be written into June, is 20% of your final grade. Okay. All right, uh, other things that come up. Uh, can I have food or drink in here? Yes, you can. 
Okay, this is period one, you may need to be caffeinated. I don't know, that's totally up to you. Okay, if you wanna have water, coffee, okay, whatever it is you drink okay, in the morning, I am totally cool with that. Okay, um, if you wanna have food in here, and you know, maybe you're rushed and this is where you eat your breakfast, that's also totally fine, unless your breakfast is a bag of Doritos and a two liter bottle of Coke, okay, that might be time for a nutrition lecture. Okay? But um, yes, you can have food or drink in here, but if you make a mess, you have to clean it up, okay. Um, can I listen to my headphones in here? Conditionally, yes, conditionally, okay? That condition is I'm not up here doing what I'm doing right now, okay? If I'm teaching or talking up front, I get both ears free, okay? If you're doing some seat work, working on some questions, and it's easier for you to concentrate when you're isolated, okay, that's totally fine, okay? Then you can have them in at that point, okay? But I should not see them in when I'm up front walking around doing this, okay? Um, can we use phones in here? Uh, yeah, definitely. In fact, I don't know how you're going to get through this course if you don't have access to the stuff that's on Google Classroom. Now, you, do you need a phone for this class? No, you don't. Okay, you can totally print the stuff okay, off of Google Classroom. But what a lot of people do is they choose to save trees. Okay, which is totally fine. Okay, and they just bring the notes package up on their phone. Okay, so if I'm using my student account, which works just like yours, okay, and I go into Google Classroom, I see worksheet packages and other materials posted here, okay, there's a periodic table, I'll give you a copy of that, you don't need to print one, okay, there's lab report expectations, we'll talk about that next week, okay, there's the metric system in here, okay, and there's also, in the classwork, okay, notes packages, organized by unit, okay, so in here, have to give it a minute to load. Each one of you has your own copy with your name on it. Okay, a Google Doc of the notes for each unit. It's going to take a while to load because it's a big class. Okay, um, so this would be your opportunity to, if you want to, edit them as we go. Okay, so you can see here, I think there's one for each unit. Um, if we're looking at, uh, so this one here is chemistry, I think. Okay, so that's your chemistry notes package. Okay, it'll say up here instead of student code air, it'll have your name. Okay, unit one chemistry notes package. So if you've got Google Docs on your phone, you can open that file up and type into it as we go. Okay, lots of people choose to do it that way or they bring a laptop or an iPad or tablet in and they do it that way. Okay, and other people, they want to have a printed paper copy. That's totally fine. Go home and print it. Okay. Bring the printed copy back to school with you, okay? Add to it as we go. Whatever works best for you is fine with me, okay? So yes, you can have your phone out because you might be using it for this. Actually, you should be using it for this if it's out, okay? If you're Snapchatting while I'm teaching, that's not good, okay? But you're 15, 16 years old, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt of being mature enough to handle that, okay? All right, um, so you have access to those, and guys, you're gonna need the chemistry one. Like, we're gonna start on this today, okay? but you're definitely gonna need it tomorrow, Monday, and okay? so you're gonna have to get that squared away pretty quickly, all right? So all the notes packages are there, okay? Um, one for each unit, and then if we go back one more here, okay? Like I said, you got the worksheet packages, Okay, um, chemistry worksheet keys uh, will be available shortly. Okay, all that stuff is in there okay, uh, for you to access. Okay, so you're gonna need that. Okay, questions on that? Okay, and like I said, everything else is gonna get submitted through Google Classroom. Okay, it's all gonna be electronic and saving trees. Okay, all right, um, other stuff. Uh, if you need to go to the bathroom, just ask. Two closest bathrooms are right outside the door. Okay, um, if you're going to the bathroom, please use the closest ones just to save time. Okay, um, if you're getting, you know, uh, anxious and you just need to take a short walk, that's fine. Okay, just kind of give me one of these and say, oh, and, uh, that's fine with me. Don't be gone too long, okay, because then I'll worry about you. All right, but um, if you need that little break, that is totally fine too. Okay, I totally get that. All right, um, anxiety is tough. Okay, I know, it's, it's personal to me too. Okay, um, so I know that it can be tough. If you need that, you go ahead and go, okay? Um, what do you need for this class? Okay, the materials you need are the stuff that's on Google Classroom, uh, pens and pencils, uh, probably 
you know, some loose leaf paper just to do some questions and stuff on. Okay, when we're doing questions and practice stuff, you'll need some paper and pencils and pens for that. Uh, you will at some point need a calculator. Um, you don't have to have the fancy uh, TI, whatever number we're on, uh, graphing calculator. If you already have one of those for math, that's great. It'll be more than what you need for this course. Okay, but if you don't want to go and shell out the big cash for one of these, one of these will do everything you need. And I think I got those, well, at the back to school sale for like $8 at like Walmart. Okay, so you can get a calculator as long as it's scientific, you're good, and they're not expensive. Okay, but you will need a scientific calculator at the bare minimum okay, for this course. Okay, um, questions from you guys? Anything I didn't cover? Okay, I'm give you like a three minute break here within the classroom. Okay, let that sink in, and then we're going to get started on the course material.